Welcome to Paul Ricard for the third round of this year's International GT Open. So far we've had four different winners from four races. This weekend we've got some new cars on the grid, we've got some drivers looking to kickstart their championship chances. Should be very, very exciting. Let's take a look at the best of the action. Race one in Spa proved to be one of the finest races in the history of the International GT Open. The opening phase of the race looked like it was going to be a dominant day for the Garage 59 squad, with Cohn Ledegaard leading away from pole position and building a big advantage at the front of the field. Behind, meanwhile, Sally Yuluk was busy elbowing his way up through the field. Mid-race pit stops where everything began to change. Marco Ciocci on a flyer in the Ferrari 488 for the AF course team chasing down cars in front of him as Ledegar, the long time race leader was waylaid by a puncture that put Roldan Rodriguez in the lead of the race as late on five leaders converging each other but there was disaster as Thomas Biaggi was spun after contact with Ewan Hankey we were set for an absolutely thrilling last lap with Rodriguez desperately defending from Hankey, Caldrelli and Marco Ciocci Andrea Caldrelli in the triple left Lamborghini able to squeeze past the TF Sport Aston Martin as they headed on to the Mistral straight for the final time but watch for the progress of Marco Ciocci in the Scarlet Ferrari using the double toe and launching to the inside of both of his rivals to snatch an excellent second place. Somehow Rodriguez was able to hold on to score he and Miguel Ramos' second victory of the season as Ciocci withstood all challenges through the final turn and Andrea Caldrelli was able to get out with his nose just in front of Ewan Hankey to complete the podium. It was an absolutely magnificent race. Delight for Teo Martin, BMW squad and for Roldan Rodriguez a masterful performance of defensive driving. He and Miguel Ramos the win. Today for all of the drivers to celebrate and savour would have been an absolutely brilliant race. It was super tough. I mean, I was I wasn't uh, bored. I was so concentrated not to make mistakes. And yeah, finally we make it. I want to say thanks to every everybody in the team, from Teo Martin to everyone. I'm super, super thankful yeah, to them. You must have been stressed, Miguel. Uh, it's, it's a much worse being outside than inside the car. I was really say, oh, it can be first or fourth. So wow, great race. To Sunday's race and it was Duncan Tappy who jumped away to claim the early lead in the Garage 59 McLaren. He and Michael Benham in pursuit of their second victory of the season with Chiocci. On pursuit of eventually the Italian driver was able to find the way past Tappy in the lead of the race. Meanwhile behind, Starbo Yakuman and Fernando Monnier making great progress on the turn Martin by support BMW after a run of disappointing results. Going well was the Ebi Motors Lamborghini and the Valve Motorsport Ferrari. There was some great dicing to be found throughout the field. Others behind were pushing just a little bit too hard. Pierre Giuseppe Perazzini took over from Ciocci mid race. Strategy was going to start to become absolutely key. Manuele Bustelli pushed just a little bit too hard in the Lamborghini. Meanwhile, Gustavo Jakman was in hot pursuit. Fabrizio Cristani. The very front of the field, though, Sally Yuluk reeled in Michael Bennett, the pair of them doing battle for the win. When Benham lost it with just a few laps remaining and tagged Yuluk into the spin, it promoted the Cristani and Biaggi Lamborghini to score the first victory of the season for the Orange One Team Lazarus squad and also give them the championship lead. Second place went to Gustavo Jakman. Fernando Monnier with Yuluk and Hankey recovering to complete the podium. The light for Cristani and Biaggi as they stand on top of the roster in Paul Ricard and move to the top of the championship standings.
we believe in that, we try hard. Uh, today, in the start of the race, my aim was uh, to give the car in the best position as possible to Fabrizio. When I saw a lot of battle in front of me, I tried to manage the tyre to give to Fabrizio a very good tyre and I was very happy about the car, very confident. So then Fabrizio he pushed hard as he can, as he knows how to do and he did a fantastic uh, second stint. Yesterday the battle was unlucky for you, but uh, this time a little bit of luck at the end. Yeah, we had a problem at the B-stop yesterday. Uh, when we lose, we lost the, uh, the advantage ahead in the first hint. But then today, you know, great satisfaction. This is all for the team, uh, all for Lamborghini. Uh, Thomas did a great job managing the ties in the first hint. Uh, when I went out, I just did three qualifying laps when I catch, you know, a lot of guys there. And then a uh, great overtaking to the BMW uh, was then catching the lead. But uh, yeah, one day <laughs> they spun off, so uh, it, was, it was a great, great feeling, great feeling. Six races in and there's no clear championship front runner. Proctio Cristani and Thomas Biaggi have leapt to the top of the standings with Phil Keane and Sean Balfe in second. Ramos and Rodriguez there in third. Benham and Tappy would have been higher, but for their end of race two disaster.